I was one of those kids hanging out in the streets. I used to love seeing the men and the women, the guys and the gals with the swag. And I wish I had swag. Guess what? We all can have swag. Hi, and welcome to In The No Fit Check. I'm your host, Amy, and today we're gonna be checking out Washington Square Park in Greenwich Village, where retro looks stay alive. Whether you're looking to get inspired with 70s, 80s, or Y2K fashion, this is the place to be. My outfit is inspired by a little bit of Greenwich Village with the Carrie Bradshaw, sneakers to tie with NYU, and vintage jewelry to put it all together. Now let's go see how Greenwich Village is looking today. Give me details about your outfit. <laughs> so the hoodie is Siberia Spirit. <laughs> The skirt is Mew Mew, and these are just some pharmacy socks. And these are the Come the Out Doc Martens. What inspired you? I see people in the craziest outfits walking around, and I think like, I want that. <laughs> but now I am here, I am entering queer maximalism ever so slowly, just seeping my way into it. Loving the retro Mew Mew, by the way. Love it. <laughs> okay, I love your fit. Like, it's a giving. Can you give me all the details about it? Okay, the shoes are good. Well, we still have the tag on them. It's my little butterfly necklace. It matches the blue in the tights. And the camo. I feel like everybody here is in camo. What inspires your outfit? I like to look on and put together, but put together in the same way. I'll like go home and my mom's like, that's something I used to wear when I was younger. And I'm just like, okay, be proud of me. Tell me all about it. These are a true religion, just a classic, low-waisted. I think this was Doll's Kill. And then these are like my favorite little sketchers. Are you completely inspired by the Y2K fashion? Definitely, I think, especially I go to fashion school over here and a lot of my peers are always wearing like the Y2K vibe, more of a retro vintage kind of thing. I think it was just like a really good time for like women empowerment and wearing what makes you feel good. I love your outfit and your sense of style. My look is a mix of feminine and masculine energy. That's why I wear a skirt and a pants. That's why I'm wearing a vest. I have some of the jewelry. I have my Casio watch. The, those binaries are, are just a little bit too much. So I like to fall in the middle. I asked myself when I was 19, if I died tomorrow, would I be happy with how I present myself? And the answer was absolutely not. What I did was I moved to New York. I got in touch with my sexuality. A big symbol of that for my acceptance is dyeing my hair. Do you think that your fashion sets into like a specific retro era? Early 2000s pop punk. Oh, so you're in the Y2K moment. I'm a Y2K boy for life, absolutely. So I am living for this whole vlog. Talk to me about your outfit. It's actually one of my last days in New York. I've been here for a month. <gasps> so I was sort of, okay, what didn't I wear yet? <laughs> This t-shirt I got actually in East Village. Belt's from Amiri. My pants are from Acne. The jacket is an old leather one from uh, Drycorn. It's a German brand. Some comfortable New Balance shoes and the nails. <laughs> I wanted to have like a more dress-up outfit, but also a more comfy outfit. So I just keep this on all day for my meetings as well as for my dinner tonight. It's so given the vintage vibes. Were you actually going for that when you picked out the outfit? Something new, something vintage, something borrowed. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> a little bit of all. <laughs> You know, I work for an airline, so I have to wear a uniform at work, so it's very drab. When I'm not in my uniform, I like to dress it up. Start with the bottom. It's my signature sneaker by Nike. I designed them myself. Track pants, these are Nike. I think I bought these in Milan. The jacket, I had this shipped in from Poland. I have it in red, I have it in blue. Yellow t-shirt underneath, baseball cap by Nike. What inspires you to dress the way you dress? The first 29 years of my life weren't great. My teenage years definitely weren't great. You know, I'm a gay man, growing up in the 80s. So I guess I kind of dressed the way I wish I could have dressed back then. I'm not afraid to let people see me. I want people to see me. I'm still here. And there you have it. We dove into street fashion in Washington Square Park right here in Greenwich Village, and it was amazing. Everyone brought it. Thank you so much for watching In The Note Fit Check. This is your host, Amy Kelly. Until next time.